All right, so we've got some crazy people running around here on the screen in front of you. Don't worry, we're going to get to the serious stuff in a moment. Uh, the Robot Lawnmower Project, absolutely fantastic. So here she is, a little bit what she looks like, a couple of wheels and some bat ears at the top there. Um, just bringing the ruler in um, and we're going to draw in uh, an Arduino here. And um, I'll just give you a bit of a talk through as to uh, uh, what um, what's going on with this device at the moment. Uh, so the Arduino is uh, connected to uh, various, well pretty much it's the heart of the, uh, of the system. And uh, in front of the Arduino here you can see me drawing in um, a little USB port. Uh, this is the uh, socket that uh, you can use to program your Arduino. And um, what's going in next? Oh, look at this. It's some ultrasonic sensors going on the bat ears, as I call it. These sensors uh, are used uh, as distance finders to make sure that you don't crash into things. We have three of them on the front of the unit. Um, uh, one on the left, one on the right to look for walls and one in front to stop it from hitting anything in front of it. Uh, and these are all obviously uh, wired into the Arduino, as is the USB port. I do apologize, I'm not drawing this at the same time that I'm speaking. In fact, I've sped up the drawing speed by two, uh, just to make life a little bit, uh, a little bit more interesting for you guys, perhaps. Um, this is a bit of a technical uh, explanation of the way things are working and whatnot. So some of you may find this interesting, you may not, I'm not sure. But either which way, you can always uh, watch something else instead. Or you could subscribe, uh, rate and comment as the video is going. So the little purple box that we're drawing up here is a H-bridge. Um, and uh, this is used to uh, drive... Uh, the motors uh, which are connected to the wheels and the elbows connected to the backbone and all that kind of stuff um, And here we have a power switch that I'm just drawing in as well um, Anyway, um, the H bridge is uh, PWM driven uh, and it also has a uh, 5 volt um, uh, power supply uh, option and I'm scribbling in here um, a little 5 volt bus uh, which is uh, uh, down at the uh, in the middle of the Arduino. Many of the devices in the Arduino um, are powered by, uh, uh, sorry, in the robot lawnmower are powered by five volts. So um, next thing, I wonder what it is that we're going to draw in next, and it looks like it's going to be green. It's going to be big or medium sized. Oh. Battery containers. Okay, so um, I've got 24 volts approximately, 24 volts worth of uh, lithium ion batteries stuffed into this device. Um, the motors are 24 volts and the H bridge can handle 24 volts. So I thought I'd go ahead and make maximum use of it. I've not drawn them all in, uh, save people from getting bored. Uh, but basically, uh, the green lumps there in the bottom, uh, bottom left, bottom right, are indeed um, lithium-ion cells, eighteen six fifties, and um, they're uh, they're quite high current and uh, are quite uh, are quite high voltage <laughs> compared to most standard or traditional cells. Um, Okie dokies, and then. Uh, I'm just popping in the motor, the geared motors. Um, if I remember correctly, I think they were about um, 100 to 1 gear ratios for the uh, gears uh, on the motors. And the motors are 24 volts, as I mentioned earlier, and they're driven by the H bridge. And on the other side, there's loads more batteries. Um, one thing that I'm missing from this diagram is. Um, the uh, the blades and uh, the motors that will be installed shortly uh, and those will be controlled um, by the Arduino uh, with a large fat hairy transistor at some point in the near future also there's a color sensor on the bottom of this thing that I haven't drawn in here which uh, I will do at some point in the future 
So, uh, interesting project. Um, I'd go ahead and um, uh, check out uh, where we are uh, with the project. I think we're at chapter 17, 18 now with this. I'm sure I hope you'll enjoy it.